Singapore is right at the middle of Mediterranean of Asia. We are right in the crossroad between East and West, North and South, between Pacific and Indian Oceans. We are at the middle of ASEAN. For those who really want to understand Southeast Asia, to understand Asia better, to understand the history of civilizations, not just from the past to the colonial period, but also to the modern and postmodern period, we have it all. And we are right at the middle of that kind of developments and context. It's very important for Singapore not to forget the past. And for the same, it's very important to preserve and to preserve correctly the tangible examples, such as the historic buildings, other structures, so that the people can understand from where they are coming, where they are now, and where they are going. This course aims to have a capacity building for heritage conservation skills and knowledge in Singapore so that we don't have to look outside Singapore to repair our own heritage. And it is very important to have these skills, otherwise we will not have a sustainable heritage ecology system. Conservation practices in architecture is not just the domain of uh, architects or architecture school. Uh, it also involves policy. So we have the LKY School of uh, Public Policies. It's also involving social practices and social studies, also involving maybe urban studies and also the technology in terms of uh, conservation. And so in NUS, uh, we have different departments and different expertise that will help build up a body of knowledge that will be helping the students and helping the professions to deepen their understanding and also deepen their knowledge in conservation. <music>